Next, we want to open a new command prompt in our terminal, and we're going to be using Yarn to create this React app. If you don't have it installed already, go ahead and use npm install dash g for a global install and yarn and then go ahead and hit enter but for us we already have this installed and to make sure that you have it installed use yarn dash dash version and then go ahead and hit enter and if it's installed it will show you the version here next we're going to use yarn create and then we're going to use Vite to create this React application. And then next, we want to specify the name of our directory that we want to create for the front end. And we'll call this front end here. And then we need to specify dash dash template and then React. So we create a React application here. Now you guys will see that our front end is created with all the necessary files for React. And just to be sure here, what we want to do is CD into our front end. And then we want to run yarn install just to make sure everything's installed successfully and it will install all the dependencies if they weren't already installed already. And you guys are going to notice that it's showing a warning for ES lint. So what we need to do to fix this and you can do this to fix any warnings that you might have is say yarn outdated and it will show us all of our outdated dependencies once this successfully runs and it will show us that ES lint is outdated here. And to fix this, we want to use yarn to upgrade ES lint to the latest version. And we want to make sure this remains a dev dependency and hit enter. And this will go ahead and run it and update our dependency here. And if we run yarn outdated again, you guys will notice that the warning for ES lint is now gone. And now we need to add a couple of things. So we'll say yarn add react router dom and this is going to be to create multiple pages for our web application and then we also need to install our dot env dependency go ahead and hit enter and make sure these are both successfully installed in your package.json underneath dependencies. Now, if we navigate into our front end folder here, you guys will see our structure. And just to help out, I'm gonna go ahead and close up the back end folder. If we open SRC within front end, you guys are gonna see our app.jsx and our main.jsx. So the way this works is everything is gonna to render to our index.html here, which is pulling our main.jsx. And then in our main.jsx, it is pulling our app.jsx here. So basically everything from our app.jsx is rendered into our main and then eventually rendered in our index.html page. So to open this up, we can use yarn and we're going to run our development environment here. So we'll go ahead and hit enter. That will give us a URL where we can open our application. Your locally hosted web application is up and running and all the default V and React code is displaying on the front end here. Tap here to see what happens next. <laughs>